I want to ask what would what would you say was the most pivotal mo moment mm -hmm. for Yuri as you're putting this children's book together about her so that people can learn about her that really made her realize okay it's real out here mm -hmm. and she was extremely impacted by it yeah what was that moment for her yeah I think and what and when did it happen like young age what would you say yeah you know it's it's interesting because it's like I think there are a few mm -hmm. but the I think the pivotal moment one of the pivotal moments for her that happens early on um but that she doesn't necessarily become conscious of why it's so important or she's not necessarily understanding why this happened but um her father was uh, essentially killed by the FBI mm -hmm. um on the day of Pearl Harbor he was a like a fish merchant mm. their family were middle class like well off living in a like predominantly white neighborhood um san pedro california and her father had like fishing boats um and she wouldn't find out till much later but the fbi had been watching her family for a few years um and had essentially like concocted this narrative that he was a spy because he did trade both with United States uh, sea vessels, but also with Japanese ones, Japanese ships, just to give them fish. Right. Um, like He's a fisherman. A yeah. <laughs> right. So he had undergone, I think, ulcer, ulcer surgery and was sick. And then on the day of Pearl Harbor, they took him, these FBI agents took him and um, imprisoned him and they didn't know where he was and when he was returned to her family um he like his mind had completely deteriorated he couldn't speak mm. and then he died like the next day um or like shortly thereafter so there's not a lot of even though she has these like journals from when she's young she really doesn't say anything about it um wow she doesn't like really remark on it and we don't know if that's because she was worried about writing being you know looked right. through or if she was like unable to process it but i think that that moment and then shortly afterwards they are imprisoned in these concentration camps those must be like the first moment she becomes kind of like enlightened to oppression and uh discrimination and so i think her being in the camps like it it doesn't, she doesn't become really politically engaged or aware until she gets to Harlem, but that's kind of like where it right. starts. Right. Um, yeah. Wow. What a journey. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy that you are documenting it and you made a children's book so that children can start learning at a young age. And I just love that it's going to be very, you know, it's digestible, but it's honest. Yeah. And I'm so happy and proud of you right now. And it's a moment for Kaepernick Publishing as somebody who wants to see, you know, important stories be, you know, shared, preserved, documented and acknowledged. Yeah. You know, I think it's really, really important. And I'm so happy. The Bridges Yuri built is here. Yes. <laughs> so where can people get this? Obviously, KaepernickPublishing.com, yes. which is going to be connected to every other outlet that you could possibly think of, but it will be available. And just so you know, we are so proud mm -hmm. of you and your entire family. And of course of Yuri, your great grandma. <laughs> so it's always so interesting to have to <laughs> add that part, but that, you know, wow. 